I think we can start the session. Okay. Yeah, good morning. Okay, so let me ask all your breakfast first. Okay, then only then you will get the energy to attend the class. Okay, I will start with Meenushree. What is your breakfast? Dosa. Dosa with what? You should tell the tiffin and the side dish also. Okay. Yes. Dosa with what? Dosa with chutney. Chutney. Okay, fine. Yes, Bhumika. Dosa with coriander chutney. Yes. Oh, super. Okay. It's nice if you specify the name of the chutney also. Okay? Because chutney itself, there are hundreds of chutneys, right? So, it is better if you tell the name of the chutney and uh, the uh, like that is the tiffin and the name of the special name of the chutney. Okay, fine. So, next moving to Kavini. Dosa with peanut chutney, ma'am. Oh, super. Okay, okay, fine. So, next is uh, Diksha. Dosa with green dal. Dosa with green dal. Okay, green dal curry, right? Yes, miss. Ah, okay. It will be nice. Okay. Actually, for dosa, everything will be nice. But when it comes to chapati, itli and all, only some items will be good. For dosa, dosa accepts everything. Dosa is pavam. Like, it is it is open to all. Okay. Next is Aradhana. What's the breakfast? Itli with mutton kurma, ma'am. Uh -huh. Okay, nice. Very nice. I am a vegetarian, but I still, I got shocked. Did you see that? Italy with mutton kurma, morning and non -veg. Okay, super. And uh, next is um, Kabilan. What's the breakfast today? Um, Italy and Sambar. Italy Sambar. Your name is Kabilan or uh, some other name? Um, Kabilan. Kabilan. Uh, are you attending for the first time? No, I'm second time. Second time. Okay. Were you there in the last class on last Sunday? Yes, ma'am. Okay, 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 fine. Like, I just, I had seen the name, but um, I didn't uh, suddenly remember. Okay, fine, Kabinan. Okay. Yes, next I would like to call um, Arun Kumar. What's the breakfast today? Rice with curry, ma'am. Rice with curry. Okay. Rice with curry. Ma Rice, okay. So, so, what about the lunch? For lunch also, you will have the same thing. How is it? Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Oh. Lunch also. Oh. Rice. Okay, okay, okay. Like in many houses, no, in olden days, uh, there is there was no system called breakfast at all. Especially when it came to Tamil Nadu, when it when comes uh, coming to Tamil Nadu, there was no kind of um, breakfast. Instead of that, they will have a coffee or tea in the morning, and directly at uh, ten o'clock they will have chapad. Okay, so many people, even today, some old people are following the same thing. Uh, those are Tamil speaking people. Okay, I don't know about other states, but when it comes to Tamil Nadu, Kaleli uh, like 10 or 10 30, around 10 30, they will have the food, and afternoon they will have tiffin. Uh, say around uh, 2 30 to 3 p.m., they will have the breakfast. Breakfast, I mean uh, the tiffin, I'm sorry. And they will have the tiffin. It can be dosa, itli, or anything. So the system was entirely different because they believe that uh, having rice and dal in the morning gives them more energy to work than having a tiffin. Okay, so for breakfast they will have this rice, dal that is sambar. Sambar has dal, right? And in the afternoon session they will have uh, the tiffin. Okay, so what we can understand from that is rice is carbohydrate. You are, you are all studying science, so definitely you will know. So carbohydrate and dal has protein. So what is uh, the food that has dal? In the food, there is dal. Irukku, parup irukku. Nama saapadra edhila parup irukku. Sambar, no? Yes, sambar. Okay, so in sambar, we have dal. So dal is protein content. Dal has protein content and rice is carbohydrate. So people in those days believed that having these food in the morning will uh, give them the energy to work throughout the day. Okay, so when Arun Kumar said that he had rice, I suddenly remembered this. Okay, nice Arun. Okay, so odd, odd out of even. Maybe Arun Kumar is odd one out of even. Okay, next um, Kadiravan. Kadiravan or Kaviyarasan? Malika Arul Selvan. What's the breakfast? Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Is it Kadiravan? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what's the breakfast? Italy with sambar, ma'am. Okay, fine. Okay, Niranjana ma'am, good morning. Good morning ma'am, very good morning. Good morning, how are you? 
Fine, ma'am. How about you, ma'am? Yeah, going good. Thank you. I have sent a FB request to you. Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, okay. In the name Anu. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what's the breakfast today? Roti, ma'am. Roti. Roti with the kurma. Yes, akhi uh, roti. Uh, what is that? Roti with chutney. Uh, all type of vegetables. Uh, uh, we great. Uh, Smallly, we cut it and uh, mix it in the atma. Okay. So, oh, it's uh, like a vegetable roti, mixed roti. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Oh, nice, nice. Nice to know that. Okay, fine. So, it requires only chutney or something. Some simple side dishes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma yes, because already there are vegetables in that, right? <laughs> okay, fine. So, now, Rakshan, what's the breakfast? Ma'am, ragi semia. Ragi semia. Oh, nice. I love that, really. Okay. Then Prakshana? Chapati with onion chala, ma'am. Onion chala. Okay, chapati. Here also, okay, let me tell my breakfast. Here it is chapati. But the side dish, no, you should not uh, laugh. Chapati is actually um, that red chutney. You know, for chapati, chutney, some kinds of chutney are very tasty. Okay, so I asked my mom to prepare chutney today. She asked me because yesterday only she prepared kurma. So I told, okay, no need of kur repeating kurma again. So better you prepare a tasty and spicy chutney. That is enough for chapati, I told. So she also said, okay, the majority was chutney at home. So she also did that. Okay, so nice knowing that. Okay, so I think now all will have the energy to attend the class. Okay, so today we are starting a new part of speech that is verbs. In the last class, we completed pronouns. So, as of uh, last Sunday, we have completed two parts of speech, that is noun and pronoun. Now, moving to the third part of speech, that is verb. So, instead of giving pictures today, instead of asking you to speak about pictures, uh, that is conducting picture activity, I thought of uh, making you to speak by giving the words that are visible on the screen. Okay, so we will be learning what are verbs on one side. And on the other side, we will also be having some conversations. Clear? So, first let me tell you what is meant by a verb and what is meant by this V1, V2 and V3 form. You can see on the screen V1, V2, V3 form. Okay, so some people may know this, some may not know. So, let's see what is that. Okay, so can anyone give me a definition for a verb? What is meant by a verb? Anybody can answer. Yes, very easy. It is the third part of speech. Ma'am, action. Ma'am, action words. Ma action words. Okay, so Prakshana has told, Kavirasan has told. What about Deeksha? No, action words. Action words. Very good. So, three people have given the right answer. Action words are called verbs. Any kind of action that you do is called a verb. Okay. So, now each one of you can give. Yes, you are correct, Bhumika. Action words are called verbs. Okay. So, there are a lot of actions that we do every day. There are plenty of actions that we do every day, right? There are a lot of. Because I am not telling the names first. Because I want each of you to come forward with one verb. Okay. So, once we do this, you will get a clear picture about what is a verb. Okay, so now let me start with uh, Meenushri. Each one can give one verb. Okay. Yeah, one example per person. Yes, Meenushri, you can start. Meenushri, your mic is off. Okay, now moving to Bhumika. Drawing. Drawing. Okay, fine. So, next is uh, Gunadhya. Gunadhya, can you hear me? Learn, shoot. Okay, Gunadhya, are you the f uh, attending for the first time? Are you a new? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma oh, can you introduce yourself? Ma'am, my name is Gunadhya. I am talking uh, from Sharda School. Sharda, Sharda School. Okay, where are you from? Sharda School. Uh, from Sounder Levet. Uh, where is that? In which place? 
मैम इन सीड़ा दली सॉरी पुरी लग रहा है आह इन बैंगलोर 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 ओके ओके फाइन इन विच क्लास यू आर स्टडीइंग फिफ्थ फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड ओके ओके सो की अटेंड अवर क्लासेस ऑन ऑल संडेस इट विल बी रियली इंटरेस्टिंग ओके ओके मैम ओके फाइन so you gave two examples can you just tell it through the mic what are the two examples that you gave learn shoot very good learn and shoot okay so thank you now moving to kabilan ma'am hmm you i'm um, run run okay fine so next is kavini right right okay uh, kaviyarasan ma'am jump hmm, jump okay uh, kumar 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 may i know your name okay arun kumar swimming swimming okay kumar can you hear me yes miss okay can you introduce yourself my name is jay nitish miss nitish okay nitish have you attended before yes miss ah okay nitish kumar like uh, last week you attended from some other id right yes miss ah okay nitish so can you give an example for a verb It's playing miss playing okay good very well, okay now moving to kadiravan ma'am speak speak very good okay next is niranjana ma'am Walking, ma'am. Walking, very good. Yes, Nitya. Sorry, Aradhana. Aradhana, your mic is off. Ma'am. Hmm. Chop, ma'am. Sorry, I can't hear. Chop. Chop. E J O P. Chop. Yes, ma'am. Okay, chop. Okay, what is meant by chop? Um, mm, mixing. it's not mixing it is cutting it's a it's a kind of cutting chopping the vegetables means uh, cutting the vegetables okay like uh, chopping them into small pieces that like cutting them into small pieces is called chopping okay someone said right all the vegetables are cut into small pieces uh, uh, niranjana ma'am said right like they for preparing that mixed chapa roti so that is actually called chopping the vegetables okay so chopping means it's a kind of cutting the vegetables or uh, uh, some other fruits or something into small pieces Okay, okay. So now moving to Rakshan. Ma'am, skate. Skate. Okay, very good. Rakshana. Ask, ma'am. Ask. Okay, and Diksha. Ma'am, cycle ride. Ride. You can say ride. Okay, because there are different types of riding, so you can say ride is a verb. Okay. So, Sahid sir, can you hear me? Are you asking me? Yeah, can you hear? Morning. Ah. Yes, I am hearing. Now only I am. I joined. Yeah, just now I saw you, sir. Sir, can you give an example for a verb, an action, any action? Verb take. Take. Okay. Thank you. Today we have started a new topic that is verbs. Okay. Thought of asking you also. Okay, fine. Okay, so these are the different actions that you told, right? So each person told different action. So each action is important in our life. So these are called verbs. Action words are called verbs. Okay, now coming to the forms of verbs. Every verb has, in fact, every verb has five forms. Okay, on the screen you can see only three forms, but actually there are five forms. Technically, when speaking, there are five forms. okay so i will introduce each form to you one by one so the first form that is the v1 form okay just go in the order v1 v2 and v3 so what is this v1 form v1 form is nothing but it is the base form or the first form of the verb for example many people told examples here in v1 form a take ride jump write speak ask okay all these are called the base form so v1 form means it is the base form it is the original form 
imagine that a baby is born a baby is born and it will be in its original form only if you take it home or before taking home or something you start wearing clothes for the baby you start combing the hair for of the baby you start dressing it up okay only after the baby is born we do all these things after after bringing it to the home bringing the baby to the home so till that baby will be in its original form right there will be no dresses there will be no makeup nothing will be there it will even be closing its eyes okay so similarly it is called v1 is called the base form or the original form of the verb every verb is born like that in the original form okay so v1 is the base form or the original form now moving to v2 form v2 form is called the past form past form because v1 is the base form which is called the present form as well present tense la we use v1 form okay now moving to v2 v2 stands for the past form for example we give a lot of sentences in past tense right we speak uh, uh, so many things in past tense so v2 form is used when speaking such sentences because it is used in the past tense so v2 is called the past form now moving to v3 v3 is called past participle form if you don't know please write it down i have asked you all to have a pen and paper with you pen and notebook with you uh, two weeks back okay i think you remember that so please take down there are three five forms for a verb v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 i will explain okay so v1 is the base form or we can call it the original form or the present form v2 is the past form and coming to v3 it is called the past participle form okay many people think v3 is called future no v3 is not future since there are three tenses no people used to ask v1 is present tense v2 is past tense v3 is future tense ah they used to ask no it's not like that v3 stands for past participle form and it is similar to v2 okay v3 is not the same as v2 but it is similar to v2 we use v3 only with has have and had please write that also v3 is used only with has have and had has have and had okay this is very important for our conversation that's why i am giving you all the details okay so v1 v2 and v3 is called the past participle form it is used only with has have and had fine so now what is meant by v4 and v5 this cannot be seen in all the textbooks but nowadays if you browse it in google or something you can find that there are five forms for a verb v4 is nothing but adding ing to the v1 adding ing to the v1 for example walking talking eating sleeping sitting you are adding ing to all the verbs base verbs right so how you are getting walking by adding ing to walk talking talk plus ing sleeping sleep plus ing listening listen plus ing so just adding ing to the base form to the v1 form you get the v4 form okay v4 is that's it and now moving to v5 v5 is nothing but it is like v3 okay it is like v3 uh, where you will be using the ing form either either we can use the ing form but v5 is not technically used what they do is instead of that they will just be writing has or have again has or have will be used again so instead of learning all the five forms that is the reason we have shortened it into just three form just into three form that is v1 v2 and v3 is enough okay so v5 v4 and all we technically we just tell that's it we don't uh, need to use it in our uh, regular learning okay in schools and all v3 v4 are v4 v5 are not taught only v1 2 3 are taught okay so the main three parts that you have to focus is v1 v2 and v3 and you should also know what is v4 v4 is nothing but ing form of any verb clear so here there are a lot of examples for v1 v2 and v3
So what we are going to do, we will read all these verbs and we will try to form sentences with them. Okay. So I will start the first one. The first verb is be. B E B. It is in the V1 form. The V2 forms are was and were. Was and were. Both are the V2 past forms of be. Okay. So why there are two options given here? Was and were. Any ideas? If you have any idea, you can tell. Was and were. There will be only one answer usually. Yes, Niranjana, ma'am, do you want to answer? Ma'am, was is used for singular. Were is uh, used for plural. Exactly, yeah. So, was is used for singular subjects. I was, you was, he was, she was, etc. But when coming to they, we, etc., then we use you, they, we, etc. We use were. They were, we were, you were. Right? So, that is the reason was and were both are given here. Very good answer. Thank you. So, B is the V1 form. Was and were are the V2 forms. And been is the V3 form. Been. So, just remember this. Be, was and were and been. Okay. So, from the second one, it will be easy for you. Okay. So, I want anyone to read the first five verbs. Okay, Aradhana. You can read the first five. After Aradhana, I will be calling uh, Deeksha. After Deeksha, it is Prakshana. Okay. Okay. Yes, Aradhana. First five, Padinga. Mm. Okay. B was there. Okay. Beat. 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 Bitter. Mm. Become. Became. Become. Began. 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 Come. Came. Come. Okay, fine. Thank you. So here you can see beat. What is meant by beat? To kadikira Ah, to or meaning irukku. Illam beat na chumma adikira My mother is beating me. Apni na enga amma na adikira anga. Okay. So beat is nothing but adikira So beat is past tense of beat is bet. Okay. So when you are reading, you should read it bet. B E A T B E A T the spelling is safe, but you should read it bet. Okay, beat, bet, and V3 is beaten. Beat, bet, and beaten. Okay, it's not beaten, it's beaten. Next is become, became, become. So here you can see that the V1 and V3 are same. Aren't they? V1 and V3 are same. Become, became, become. Okay, so can you give a sentence with become, Aradhana? Ma'am? Yeah, can you give a sentence with the become? Um. Any sentence? No problem. I will become a lawyer. Oh, okay. I will become a lawyer. Okay, so here it is become. So when coming to became, it becomes past tense. Became is the past tense. So for past tense, I can say, uh, she became a doctor finally. She became a doctor or she successfully became a doctor. Doctor Aita. Okay. When it comes to the V3 form become again, we can say she had become a doctor or he had become a lawyer. Okay. Or we can say he has become a lawyer or she has become a doctor or they have become doctors. So, this V3 is used only with has, have and had. So, when to use that has, have and had, that you will learn when we are studying tenses. Okay. Tense padikim bodhu, at that time you will know what is meant by has, have, had, abdela. Okay. So, for the time being, understand that V3 is used only with has, have and had. Okay. So, next is begin, began, begun. Okay. So, can uh, Diksha, can you give a sentence with begin? Anyone. Begin. Anybody? If no. Diksha, yeah, if Diksha can give, that's fine. Who? You can either give in begin or begin. Okay. Mm. Aradhana, can you please switch up the mic? Okay. Who can give a sentence with begin? Sorry? No, no sentence, ma'am. No sentence. Why? 
Okay. Anybody can? Yes. Uh. Hi, ma'am. Begin with this line. Begin with this line. Okay. Because begin to start, pannu na avasi mille. Okay. Begin lor sentence mana na da na kete. It is not necessary that it should start with begin. I think you have understand understood like that. You just need to add the word begin in the sentence anywhere. Okay, in any part of the sentence. Okay, now uh, Prakshna, what did you want to tell? I got the job and I begin work on Monday, ma'am. I I will begin work on Monday. Okay, I will begin. I got a job and I will begin the work on Monday. Okay, fine. So begin is fine. Now, can you give a sentence with began? Whoever is interested, they can give. Okay, because I will not call the names. If you come across an example, immediately switch on the mic and you can answer. Began past tense. This is the conversation for you today. You have to frame sentences with different words. Okay. Began very easy. No. Kavirsan, can you give an example? Ma'am, no, what is meaning for began, ma'am? What is the meaning for begin? Begin. What is meant by begin? I think it's like it's only in my mind. Hmm. I didn't know, ma'am. I don't know. You only in pain. I don't know, ma'am. Begin means to start. Begin means to start. So began means started. Okay. So he began to started his life. He began to start his life, not started his life. Okay. He began to start his life. Okay, very good. So when you are using past tense, no two past tenses will not come together. Okay. Either you you can say he started his life, or you can say he began to start his life. Okay. So that is correct. Or or, or you can say he began his life. That is also enough. Okay. Now next is come, came, come. Yes. Diksha, can you give an example with come? Mama, you come this place. Uh, what do you mean in Tamil? Can you explain in Tamil? Ni indera tukwa. Okay, you come to this place. Okay, you come to this place. Fine. Yes. Any more examples? Yes, Niranjana, ma'am. Can you give an example? Come or came? Okay, one person has given for come, so you can do it in came. Yesterday, my friend came to my house. Okay, yesterday my friend came to my house. Okay, then I just came home. Gunadia. Okay, very good students. Good, good. Okay, okay. So come, came, and B three is also come. So the sentence will be he has come, she has come, uh, they have come, has or have or lena had over. Okay. Okay, so now, uh, Deeksha, you can read the next five words from cost yes, to draw. Okay. Cost, cost, cost. Cut, cut, cut. Dig, dug, dug. Do, did, done. 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 Mm. Draw, draw, run. It is draw, drew, drawn. Okay, draw, drew, D R E W, drew and drawn. Okay, so cost, cost, cost. So it is the same. The V one, V two, and V three are same. Cost, cost, cost. Next is cut, cut, cut. Okay, it, 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 many people, many students write cut it and all. Okay, that's wrong. Cut, cut, cut. That is the correct one. Similarly, put, put, put. Okay, it's not put it. It's only put. Okay. Then similarly, dig, dug, dug. What is meant by dig? Stone, 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 stone. Yes, that is called digging. Okay. For example, we can say that the workers are digging the road, or um, the architects are digging the ground. Okay. Lot of examples can be given. So next is do, do, did, done. Do past tense is did, and the V three is done. Also, along with do, we can also say does. Do and does both are, both will be in the V one. 
So what is the difference between do and does? Can you give an idea? Do is in V1, does also comes in V1. Here it is not given, but does also come in the place of V1. Why do and does? Do and does are V1, but what is the difference between them? Whoever knows, you can unmute and tell. Singular, plural, ma'am. Okay, which is for singular and which is for plural? I, you, we, they, lam, plural, ma'am. Okay. Uh, he, she, it, tala, singular, ma'am. Okay, da. So, nama yaar kuda do use pannu, yaar kuda does use pannu. Do and this plural ku use pannu, ma'am. Does and the singular ku use pannu, ma'am. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. So, do is used with the singular subjects and, and uh, sorry, do is used with plural subjects and does is used with singular subjects. Gunadia, very good. You have given the answer. Good. Okay. So, no, no, I know that is Prakshana and Gunadia has also given the answer. Okay. So, do, did, done, also does, did, done is also possible. Okay. And finally, draw, drew, drawn. Okay. Now, I want some examples for, for this word. Okay, Prakshna, can you give an example for draw? Prakshna, can you give then, uh, then Aradhana. After Prakshna, I will call Aradhana. Okay. Ma'am, draw means varai radha, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. I asked her to draw for me. I asked her to draw for me. Okay, fine. Yes, Aradhana. Yes, Aradhana, you can give an answer. Aradhana, your mic is off, I think. He drew a little kitten. Ah, very good, Gunadia. Okay. Aradhya, are you going to tell? Aradhana. Okay, she has left the beat. Okay. okay. Yes, Kavini, you can come forward and tell. Yeah. I asked to draw me. I asked her to draw me. Okay, fine. Very good. Yes. Uh, Aradhana, can you answer now? Yes, ma'am. Mm. For draw or drew, ma'am. Ah, for draw, draw or drew. Whichever you want, you can tell. <laughs> I, draw, I drew a picture today. Ah, very good. Really? Did you draw a picture today? Yes, ma'am. What picture did you draw? A cell. Cell? Cell yes, of uh, human beings? No, ma'am. Unicellular, ma'am. Unicellular. Ami oh, amoeba. Okay, okay. Yes, amoeba, bacteria. Then uh, what else? You are in fifth standard, right? Sixth, ma'am. Sixth. Oh, okay, okay. Fine. Okay, da, okay, okay. Fine. So, very good. So, now moving to the next five verbs. So, I think uh, who is willing to read the next five verbs? Drive, drink, eat, fall and feel. Who can read it? Um, okay. Um, Kavini, you can read. Okay, ma'am. Drive, drove, drive and drink, drank, drunk. Eat, ate, eaten. Fall, fell, fallen. Feel, felt, felt. Very good. Okay. So, I will start with Kavini itself. Can you give an example for drive, Kanna? I know to drive, cycle, or car. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Next is, um, who can give an example for, uh, yeah, someone wants to give, I think. Yes, Aradhana. Mm. Uh, a driver was, a driver was driven a lorry. The driver was driving a lorry. Okay, or you can say that a driver has driven a lorry. Has, if, if you are using has, then you can use driven. Okay. Okay. Fine. Very good. Good attempt. Okay. Next is, uh, who is ready for uh, drink? Drink. Yes, Diksha. Mm. I drink a juice. I drink juice. Not a juice. I drink juice. Na juice could depend. Yeah. Adana mean, that's what you mean, right? Yes, yeah, sir. I drink juice. Now juice could depend. Yeah, I drink juice. Okay. Or I drink yeah. any all types of juice. Juices. Okay. Uh, fine. Anyone else? 
for drank can i ma'am yes yes you can she drank his cup of juice coffee she drank a cup of juice and coffee how is it possible juice or coffee ma'am appo she drank a cup appo you can't tell like that edha unnu thane kudichirpa illaya so or eppadi solla mudiyum so you can say she drank a cup of juice or you can say she drank a cup of coffee okay if you want to say ava juice o coffee o kudippa appadi nu sollanumna she will drink a cup of juice or coffee appa you can say she will drink a cup of juice or coffee but for past tense you cannot use choices okay for past tense you can you can't use choices any one is possible either of them is possible because no person can drink juice and coffee together okay if you tell like that it will become the meaning will change like that she drank both juice and coffee okay got it okay ma'am okay fine yes. yes someone raised their hands right uh yes reaction yeah um after playing he drank glucose water okay he drank glucose water very good okay then anyone else yes kavi arsan gunadia has said uh, i drank milkshake very good yes kavi arsan i drank ah yes ma'am yes ma'am i drank hot coffee in early morning oh i drank hot coffee in the early morning very good okay so drink drank drunk okay the pavitra is drunk now moving to eat ate eaten who is ready okay so i think uh, just a minute uh, oh gunadia is very fast okay he ate the tablets okay uh, niranjana ma'am can you give an example for uh, eat i will eat breakfast for uh, upma i will eat break i will eat upma as breakfast okay ma'am okay upma breakfast ku upma saapiduven so i will eat upma for the breakfast or for breakfast okay 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 and what about uh, others for eat and eat can i ma'am yes yes so, can i ma'am yes the prakshana then aradhana mm. i ate a box of chocolates mm. really okay yes sir okay fine what about aradhana i i ate i ate some vegetables i ate some vegetables okay fine what is your favorite vegetable carrot ma'am oh okay so are you a rabbit uh in my home they will tell you are a rabbit you are a rabbit okay rabbit is a poor uh, animal it's a poor creature you know unless you disturb it it won't do you anything it's a pavam animal okay it's a poor creature but i don't think aradhana is so pavam i don't think so okay fine okay next uh, do you eat a raw carrots or cooked carrot raw carrots ma raw carrot very good okay so next is fall fell fallen who can give an example mm yeah kaviyarasan aradhana three people have raised hands okay kaviyarasan yeah yesterday i fell down when i'm playing yesterday yesterday i fell down when i was playing okay i fell from the cycle okay gunadia good anyone else aradhana i want everyone to answer come on many people are not at all coming ma'am can i ma'am aradhana after aradhana i will call prakshna ah uh. okay ma'am i i fall on a uncle i i fell on the uncle i fell on the uncle not the uncle my uncle you can say right yeah. okay i fell on my uncle okay he fall from the tree when he was climbing uh, rakshan it is he fell from the tree okay past tense he fell from the tree when he was climbing good attempt okay so what about uh, arun kumar can you give an example for fell or fall she has fallen down the ladder okay good is arun kumar can you give an example 
I fall from the sofa at night. I fall from the sofa at night. Okay, so does it happen regularly? Yeah. Does it happen every day or frequently? Ah, okay. uh, sometimes, ma'am. Sometimes. So that is okay. So I fall from the sofa. Okay, that's a valid answer. Okay. Okay. Then what about someone has given? Mm. Leaves are fallen on the road. Instead of telling in the road, you can say leaves are fallen on the road. Very good, Kavini. Uh, then she had fallen down the ladder. Gunadia has told. Good. Okay. So when you are using fallen, it should be in the past participle tense. So has or have or had should be used. Okay. Okay. So now we are moving to the next uh, set of verbs, starting from fight till forgive. Who can read it? Uh, let me call out the names because I I don't want repeated people. I want everyone to answer. Okay. Uh, let me call Meenushri. Ma'am. Yes, Meenushri, can you read from uh, uh, fight till forgive? Uh, okay, ma'am. Ah, okay. Found, found, found. Find, found, found. Fly, flew, flown. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Forgive, forgive, forgiven. Okay, fine. So, can you give an example with fight? Um, the eagle and snake was fight in the ground. Was fighting. The eagle and snake fighting. Was fighting in the ground. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay, next, who is willing to give the example for fight? Okay, I will call out the names if you don't come. Okay, yes, Gunadia, an example. Gunadia, you can switch on your mic and tell. Okay, instead of typing in the comment box, you can switch on your mic. Okay, only then it will be nice. I want uh, all of you to interact. They fought with each other. Okay, do you fight with your friends? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. Do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, yes ma'am. Uh, how many brothers or how many sisters do you have? One sister is there, ma'am. Okay. Do you fight with her? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Very good boy. Okay. Next, yes, I, <laughs> Next I would like to call Kabilan. Ma'am. Yes, Kabilan. Yeah. I fight with my friend. I fight with my friend. Okay. Uh, next, I would like to call. Uh, just a minute. Kavini. Yes, ma'am. Mm. I had fight with my brother. I had a fight with my brother. Uh, that's what you're telling, right? Okay. So here. Yes, uh, okay. Very good. Thanks for giving this example. Uh, I want to tell you the difference between had fight and had fought. Okay, so here, you, I, I usually told you that uh, V3 is used only with has, have or had. So that is, I had fought, I had uh, fought with my sister or they had fought with us or um, she has fought with my brother, something like that. But Ara, sorry, uh, Kavini has told that I had a fight with my uh, friend, right? I had a fight with my friend. So here she is using had and fight. Api the correct. Many people will have this doubt. Observe the sentence carefully. She told I had a fight. She didn't tell I had fight. I had fight na solirinda adu tappu. But she has told I had a fight. So that is not wrong. It is correct. I had a fight with my brother or I had a fight with my friend. It is just like I had a car. Uh, I have a bike, I have a scooter. You are just telling that you had something. Okay, you had something. It means to show that you are possession. So, you possessed something. So, on the meaning la pakumbodhu, I had a fight. It is correct. Okay, so please understand the difference between had fought and had a fight. Okay, I hope you would have understood this. Okay, so next anyone else for, uh, next is find. Find. Okay. I found the key. Okay. 
this Niranj Raman, can you give an example for find? Uh, find or found? I find I find the many books in library. I found many books in the library. In the library. Okay. Okay. Either you can say in the library or in library. In in the library. In the library. In the library, a place uh, it is a familiar library. It is a place where you frequently go or something. Maybe your school library or your colony's library, something like that. If you simply say, okay. uh, I found many books in library, it can be any library. Okay. If you are telling okay. the, yeah, the library, if you are telling me, it is a specific library that you are meaning. Uh, maybe it can if a student says I found many books in the library means the student is talking about his school library okay okay fine okay so next is Kavir Sen yeah Kavir Sen I couldn't hear you you are not audible yes ma'am yes, ma are you hear me yes 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 okay Ma'am, what are you doing? Uh, what you have to do? You're asking me, huh? What all are doing? You have to find a sentence for find. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma what I have to do, not what I do. What I have to do? Okay. Yes, find or found. Okay, Kavir Sen, you keep thinking. I will come back to you. Uh, Nitish. Nitish Kumar? Yes, miss. Yeah, give an example for find. That's why I'm giving an option. Either find or found. Whichever is okay, comfortable for you, tell for that. Find, miss. Find. Find, okay, give an example. I find my book. Okay, I found my book. I found my book, right? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. Next is uh, Prakshana. Can you give an example? Yes, ma'am. I cannot find my watch. I cannot find my watch. Okay. So, next is Deeksha. Ma'am, find the number and write. Find the number and write. Okay, this is an imperative sentence. Very good. Okay. So I found the diamond uh, last day. At, at Vanda, I found the diamond last day. Very good, Minishri. So now moving to Suguna. Can you give an example? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Can I tell fine, ma'am? Yeah, sure. I found a coin on the road. Oh, I found a coin on the road. Very good. Next, uh, Said, sir. I find my pen in the desk. Okay, I find my pen in the on the desk. Okay. Fine. On the desk. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay, now the next word is uh, fly. Wow, nice word, fly. Okay, so, Gunadia, you are so fast. Okay, the bird flew away. Okay, fine. Is Aradhana. The birds are fly, fly in the sky. Birds are fly -a, flying, -a, which is correct? Flying in the sky. Flying in the sky. Okay, fine. So, next I would like to call Kavini. The birds flew to the nest. Ah, okay. Birds flew to the nest. Okay. Yes, direction. Ma'am, the eagle fly above the clouds. The eagle fly above the clouds. Above eagle. the clouds. Oh, yeah, eagle is singular. So, flies. Okay. Flies. So next is Sadiksha. The butterfly is flying. Hmm, okay. Yes, Niranjana, ma'am. Birds are fly near the tree. Birds are flying. Okay. Flying. Flying near the tree. If you are using is, are, and all, you have to use that ing form. Okay. 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 Yes, uh, someone has uh, commented. I think it's Gunadia. Uh, Kavirasan. The vulture has flown away. Ah, very good, uh, Kavirasan. The vulture has flown away. Super. This is how you have to try. Okay. V3 na kekam hate. You can comment it in the chat box. Because V1 and V2 the main anam kipa venam. 
V3 we will learn in uh, when we are learning tenses. But still you can try answering in the chat box. Okay, very good. So next is forget. Forget. Okay, let me start with uh, Suguna. Yes. I forgot my book. <laughs> okay, I forgot. Suguna, what's your name? Da? I forgot it. I Latishams. forgot it. Huh? Latisha. Latisha. I forgot your name, Latisha. Okay. My brother's name is Prajin. Miss. Prajin. Okay. Is he also there? Is he there? Is he there with you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Is he interested to attend this class? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma oh, hi. I am getting a chorus answer. Okay. How are you? I am fine, ma'am. Okay. So, can you give an example for forget? No. I forgot my things. Oh, okay. Thank you. Next is uh, Gunadia has given, I forgot to do my homework. Okay. Then someone has told, um, they forgot the answer. Very good, Kabilan. 